this has all happened in the last three months. And I Last three months and Kiri swimming in some type poop, poop. Swimming in some type poop. Sing along, sing along, sing along. <laughs> eee, intros get crazy and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, man's, uh, man's got three girlfriends, as I said, up until now I only have one. But I basically had like three and then one got relegated and kind of like two and then whatever but i got one girlfriend now but i had basically three girlfriends up until about two weeks ago yeah well one hasn't even officially been snaked but fuck you, you don't message me man you're not my girl can't be asked oh, i'm gonna cry man got three three chances out and got like six girls in the last two days <laughs> But anyways, chatting to all those girls, you know, they're all nice, they're all pretty, they all look good, like, it's good, I'm not gonna lie, like, when you speak to hot girls, it's a good feeling because, again, unconsciously or consciously, you do feel validated. It's never about society or about all this and that, but of course, as humans, and again, come a bit closer, because we're, we're talking facts right now, we're cooking. <laughs> all this crazy shit unconsciously as you know humans have the purpose of survival and to reproduce most people can obviously survive and then reproduce is obviously like spread your seed and stuff and as guys from a young age no one gets girls i was exactly like you editors will put some screenshots here and again i still struggle a lot especially in london to get girls and that's just me being completely honestly true i've only been with two new girls in the last two years obviously i post the manners and i talk a lot about in my past but that's just honestly the truth you know so it is very difficult but of course when you're like i'll put it like this when girls are interested in you it means you're doing something right yeah and the external validation will always feel good it's like the cherry on top of the cake no it's nice but whatever but everything the foundation everything you look for the actual cake itself is the internal and it's that love within and that's how i'm able to do these stupid things at the start i'm not fear judgment because i have that love and that acceptance and that satisfaction within so all these girls we got i'm not gonna say names but we've got one girlfriend i can see her that yeah the okay the 23 year old virgin girl that's what we call her the the girl that doesn't message me who's sexy and then obviously main girl and then we had one girl as well um we'll call her the, the idiot the idiot that i like yeah we'll put her so we, we got all these girls and i'm looking at all these three girls here exclude, exclude my main girl leave her out like, i actually like her but these three here when i look at all these three girls they all got something in common <laughs> come a bit closer they're all very very hot like I think oh, this one's hot, but this one, oh, it's just the, her ass is just like this, and this one's breast is just, oh, whatever, we're not going to talk. This one just, she was a virgin at 23, so they all were like, probably like overall, maybe like a seven, at least an eight. I think most people would say in like looks and then how they carry themselves and whatever, and how they're very selective and whatever. And when I look at all these three girls, obviously, we haven't dated for the longest and technically fuck this one here, whatever. Don't date girls, you don't have sex. I never encourage that. But again, if sometimes they're hot, you have to kind of take a D, D rope. Uh, a, A to B, go to C and try and go back to B, whatever. But you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah. Obviously, only fuck this one. And... They're all very hot, high quality girls. And this is where it stops. This is where the sentence ends. They're all very hot and high quality girls and full stop. If you wanna date all these girls today and get all of this for free or join my school, link in the description below.
Because the next part isn't the good stuff. The next part is the stuff where they may be emotional or may cause problems and, you know, just throw them to the side and you be direct and you give your time. But they can ruin your life. Beautiful hot girls can ruin your fucking life. And this is the biggest lesson I've ever learned. Especially this one when I was talking and we had numerous conversations and I was losing myself to be sitting there here and I explained it in another video. Man, I had tears down his eyes. <laughs> Me being a sensitive soul. Of course, again, like no girl is going to come into my life and ever, ever, ever affect me like I, back in 2018, 2019. It's never going to happen. I'm too strong in the thing. But again, when you get to know them and there's some sort of emotional investment and they're a good girl and you don't want to do them wrong. Again, your notch can suddenly after a week, two, maybe a month, you, you've gone down a bit and then maybe you're going down and then you can see kind of like a correlation and a trajectory. And sometimes you just got to cut them off. No matter how beautiful they are, no matter how the physical attraction, some of these girls, a lot of them are very, very toxic. A lot of them aren't good for you. A lot of them will ruin your fucking life. It's your job as a man to have your emotions secondary and your feelings secondary and your lust and your beauty and your, oh my God, they're so nice, secondary to your actually true most important important values your purpose what you're trying to achieve in life your future trajectory the man that you look in the mirror and the man that you become proud of because if you focus on the most important thing these girls here they came in my life and they went and i will be able to attract a girls 10 times hotter than these girls 10 times more of these girls and be fulfilled and happy and secure and done the work on myself to become someone I'm truly proud of if I focus on the most important stuff at the top. When you focus on the second things and holding on to a girl and whatever, guess what? You lose yourself and in the end you're going to lose the girl. The best guarantee, the best investment, the best thing you can ever fucking do as a man is focus wholeheartedly as much energy, as much time, as much percentile of your day, especially when you're young, on yourself to then become the man and again give it back to society in whatever way you deems. Because that is the biggest fulfillment and satisfaction and will always trump all, the, all these girls. Oh, they just have a vagina. It's literally just a hole. Like, it's not that deep. I'm telling you, like, okay, you sound nice and whatever, but like, stop crying like a bit. Want me like fucking get a grip, bro? Focus on what's important. We're all gonna have ups and downs, cool. But when you see your project, you go down and down and down, and then a few months will go by and down and down, and the years by go by. Guess who's gonna fucking save you? Not that girl, because she would have went to someone higher up or better. No one's gonna fucking save you, and no one's gonna be there for you. The only person that's got you is yourself. So understand that, yeah, women are nice. Understand they're beautiful. Understand whatever. But also detach that from the most important thing in your life, which is you and your loved ones and the actual people that mean something to you. <laughs> Hope this has helped. Any questions, let me know. Thank you so much.